Hey guys, welcome back to Cruise in the South. Today's video, I would like to share something with you guys about uh, flushing the engines out. Last time that we went out, I did not flush her out. I was lazy, was got back late. So I wanna go ahead and flush her out right now, but first we gotta warm her up. And then I'm gonna get the hose and we're gonna connect the hose to the, you know, my hose connector over there. And uh, we will flush the engines out. And I wanna share uh, a fail that I had once because I let uh, the whole system stay pressurized and one of my filters broke. So I wanna share that with you guys. All right, let's fire her up. She's firing it up from cold. So uh, let's see how that goes. disconnected these holes here so what that did is it pressurized my system so much that both of my filters broke right this one and that one the bottom of the filter just popped out and you know it broke so i had to buy new filters and i think it was like 130 dollars or something for the filters and it happened to me two separate times because i messed up you know let's say from this point on right here if i go and i turn the engine off without closing any of the seacocks or disconnecting that hose you would just put like the entire psi of this building just in my internal system here and it's not designed for that much psi you know so what i do is with the engine running still i just go and i unhook that that water you know i close the shut off and i quickly unhook and i let the system draw in air through there right so i just let air go through the system that gives me enough time to get to my uh, to get to my key and turn the you know the the pump off. I mean, I'll turn the engine off. But uh, the reason why, like you know, you have to do that because uh, otherwise you will put too much pressure on the system, you know. And I don't trust that breather there, so uh, you know. And as I do that, you know, as I go to my uh, ignition switch, there's still enough water on the system for the impeller of my water pump not to run dry, you know? At least I do it this way since forever and never had the uh, impeller burn on me yet. So uh, I'll show you guys when I turn it off in a second. I guess just like, you know, any of my videos, it's not uh, how to do it, but how I do it, right? So like how I prefer to turn this, you know, resting the, the flushing off is uh, easy here. I quickly, turn this off 
then I disconnect this, right? I disconnect that. Now there's, you know, and the system now is open there, so you know the water pump is drawing in there. But there's still enough water on the system, just enough to time, give me enough time to come here and turn it off. Now it's everything is good and good to go. Now I come over here and I get this shut off and I close it again. And boy, and then I put a cap on there. And that's how I do it. You know, next time that I want to go out, all I got to do is open that seat pop. Then we're good to go. But yeah, one time leaving, you know, turning the engine off before unplugging the water from the system and leaving a drawing of air, I popped both of my filters. So yeah, that was, was an expensive mistake right there. So well, guys, thank you for watching. Appreciate it. And I see you guys on the very next episode.